Hey there, if you've been using Webflow for some time, you know that to affect the z-index of an element, you need to change the position to be either something like relative or absolute. But what if I was to tell you that's not always the case, and you can affect the z-index of a static element? Don't believe me? Well, check this out. So to illustrate this, on my page, I just have this home hero component. Right now, it's set to display block. But I'm going to change it to be display flex, horizontal. And I'm going to make sure it's centered up, so center, center. And in this component, I'm going to drop in a div. So I'm going to use the shortcut Command or Control E. And I'm going to drop in a div. And I'm going to call this flex child. And I'm going to give this a ratio of 1 to 1 with a max width of 10 rem, just so you can see, and 100% width. And I'm also going to give it a 100% radius, just to make sure it's a perfect circle and a background color of navy blue. And then I'm going to duplicate this using Command or Control D. So now I have two flex child elements. But on the second one, I'm going to give it a combo class of is teal. And I'm going to change the background color to this teal color I have. So right now I have two flex child elements. I have this navy one and I have this teal one. Well, I'm going to select this teal child, and I'm going to go down to the custom properties. Now remember, they're both set to a position static. So I'm going to go down to custom properties, and I'm going to change the margin left. And I'm going to make it negative 5 rem. So now it's overlapping that navy child. But what if I want to have it where the navy is on top? Well, you might think, okay, that's easy. We'll just go up and give it a position of relative and change the Z index. But you don't need to change the position because technically by giving it a flex layout, you're also affecting the positioning. So we can go to this Navy child, go down to our custom properties, go Z index, and I'll give it a Z index of two. So right now this Navy and the subsequent teal child have a z-index of 2. But if I was to go to this teal child and change the z-index to 1, now the navy child is on top and the teal is underneath. So there you go. That's just a simple example of how you can affect the z-index of a static element. Thank you for watching and take care.